What's up everyone, King Krabs back again today, and this is probably the first time a lot of you are actually seeing me. It's the first time I've recorded a video with my webcam on, so hello, this is the uh, face behind the operation. So today I want to be in a really kind of casual video, just kind of discussing my favourite types, um, more so how to play them, not necessarily any specific generation, not like Generation 8 or, or Nat Dex, just... A general like what playstyles I kind of like uh, and just kind of discussing the playstyles that types have and, and what I enjoy. So before jumping into that, a uh, quick update on the channel. So unfortunately content might be a little slow in the next uh, few weeks because I am currently balancing my social life, uh, my job, my studies as well as that. Um, I'm trying to obviously create content as well. So I do intend to do that and I will still try to upload every week going forward but they might be kind of smaller videos. I am working on some big projects. One was almost finished. Unfortunately, I had to scrap it because the editing software. I just, I just wasn't happy how it turned out. But I do have the raw files there, so do expect that when I, when I get the time. So with that, let's jump right into the types. So I'm gonna go alphabetically uh, because this is how the tier list is, is sorted for me here. It's, it's pretty easy. So first we have bug. I really like bug. Bugs, uh, bugs a cool type. I don't think it necessarily has like a super solid play style like other things have a huge identity with things like you know rain or or, or a terrain or or something like that i don't think bug has that kind of uh, identity but still i find bug really fun and there are some really fun bugs to use uh, volcarona is always hilarious especially with boots caesar can clean through so many teams i really enjoy the megas it has pincer beedrill both great um, i'm gonna give it eight tier i think for now Maybe like a low A tier. It's definitely it's definitely in the top half of types I really enjoy. I don't think I need a D tier, honestly. I don't really see a type being that bad that I, I need to put it in D tier. Next up we have Dark. Um, uh, this is going to get me a lot of hate, probably. I'm not the biggest fan of playing Dark. It's, it's, it's not my favorite type. Design-wise, there's some really cool Pokemon. I won't deny that. I really like some Dark Pokemon. But just to play it, I, I guess I could I could see the appeal. I think it kind of goes for a lot of trickery and um, and, and deceit is what the what the dark type is supposed to be. But I find plain dark type, I like racing to get up my screens with Grimmsnarl and then setting up something crazy, be it Urshifu, uh, Moltres, uh, you name it, dark has plenty of like sweepers. So I'd, that is a very fun hyper offense style. Unfortunately, all the fun hyper offense Pokemon generally get banned from dark. And so I'm going to tentatively put it in C tier. Okay. Continuing the trend of, uh, of not making people happy because this is a really popular type, but I'm going to have to be honest and say I, I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of Dragon. I don't really like the playstyle. I think it relies heavily on on massive BST and just huge move pools and, and big strong Pokemon, which which is really cool. It, it feels powerful, but I don't know. It just doesn't have that that glue I think that holds it together that I really like in a lot of my teams. Um, for that reason, I'm also going to tentatively put it in C tier. As I said earlier, this is nothing to do with designs. I think there are some really cool dragon Pokemon. Uh, Garchomp, one of my favorites. I'm a big fan of uh, Hydreigon, very cool. Kingdra, Dragonite, there's some excellent, excellent dragon types. Uh, in a vacuum, I think it's a very cool type, but I don't particularly love using it altogether. So, uh, bouncing right back up to the other side of the tier list, we have Electric. Personally... I really like Electric. It would have been a contender for one of my favorite types in Generation 7, if not my favorite type. It's it's fast. Um, it's very fast-paced. You rely a lot on Electric terrain. I think Electric has so many cool tools to work together. You have things like um, Volt Absorb, Plasma Fist, making your opponent's Snorkel types Electric. It can like block Rapid Spins. You can Volt Absorb them. You have Motor Drive. I think it's just a really cool type. I think it also works really cool in doubles, which I don't really play, but it's it's worth a shout out that doubles electric is really cool, like plus and minus or or ion deluge, which I don't know if it's in generation eight, but it's a cool move. Uh, again, just rising voltage, electric terrain spam is fun, very fast paced. It acts as a sticky web, thanks to Galvantula, great Pokemon. Uh, so for that reason, I'm gonna put it a pretty high A tier. I really like electric, very cool type. And we're kind of ping ponging back and forth a lot right now because next we have the fairy type and. I like the fairy type designs. I think actually a lot of my favorite Pokemon, or a lot of Pokemon I really, really like, are fairy types like Clefable, Mawal, a big fan of those two, for example, are fairy types. And I just generally really like fairy type designs. However, I don't particularly enjoy playing the type. 
probably a lot of it is due to the fact I'm not very good at it. It's a type I will admit I generally get help from uh, from friends of mine when I'm playing uh, this type. I, I often ask people like, hey, pass me some fairy teams. What, what do you think is good, you know? So definitely fairy is not my best. The terrain setting's cool. I think all the tapus have a niche. Uh, I think it's cool that you can kind of bounce between them and, and really there's a lot of diversity in the fairy team despite the fact of being a relatively small type uh, number-wise. But I'm still going to have to give it a C tier. Probably, probably above dragon. But below dark. So next up is fighting. Uh, fighting, very cool type. I really like how aggressive fighting can be. It can really just use like crazy high BST moves like close combat, high jump kick, a uh, superpower, and absolutely blast through my opponent's team. It is a little bit lucky on the special side. You have things like focus blast, but not reliable. Maybe aura sphere. Um, Keljo is really good. I will admit Keljo is really really good. But overall, it, it's aggressive. And it's fun, but I think it's it's not spammable enough to be like super fun to me. And for that reason, I'd give it a B tier, probably like a mid B tier. It's it's definitely a cool type. I I appreciate fighting a lot. Next up is fire, and I have a I have very very mixed feelings about fire. I think fire is a, again. I think every type is cool. I'm gonna stop saying it's a cool type because I really at the end of the day I think every Pokemon type is cool. Uh, Playstyle wise, I love weather. It has sun, something I don't see much of here where I live. It's I live in Ireland, in case anyone doesn't know I'm Irish. Um, and we get a lot of a lot of rain here, so the sun is something I, I treasure whenever I see it. Uh, for that reason, I don't connect as much as water. Like, the, the rain and water, I definitely connect to that on a, on a spiritual level, a personal level. Uh, for fire, though, sun is cool. Torkoal is, is a fun Pokemon to use. I don't think Ninetales is a great fire setter. I, I've tried it before, and it, it didn't go well. I'll, I'll discuss that more in a later video. But um, it doesn't have the most uh, sun setting. And, and kind of ironically, the firepower it provides just isn't really for me. Um, so for that reason, I'd probably give it a low B tier, maybe a high C tier. I'll, I'll shuffle the tiers around at the end to, to make sure it looks okay. This one kills me. I, I think the flying type is, is amazingly cool. I love birds. Birds are some of my favorite animals. I think birds are really cool. And unfortunately, like six bird teams just really aren't viable on a flying team. When there's just a plethora of amazing legendaries, you have the the genies, you have like Celesteela, uh, you have pseudo legendaries like Dragonite and Salamence, who who I think both have uses just on flying. So for that reason, a lot of the flying Pokemon I want to use, I don't generally use on a flying team because they're not as good as what you can provide otherwise. Uh, and on top of that, I think next to Fairy, it's probably the type I'm worst at. For that reason, I think I'll give it low B tier. It's also very balance orientated. I don't particularly like playing balance. Uh, personally, I kind of prefer a bit offensive teams, maybe uh, a kind of defensive offensive, but but balance isn't usually my playstyle. So next up we have Ghost. Ooh, Ghost is a, it's an interesting one. It's very limited. There's not a huge amount Ghost can do that's like super different to other things. I'm personally a big fan of Trick Room Ghost. I have a few Ghost uh, main friends who who detest Trick Room. I'm sorry, but I like Trick Room Ghost. I don't think it's as good this generation, but it definitely did have its niche back in Gen 7. And probably not Dex 2. I think like Z Memento, like Carpe Gregis, um, Runa Regis is, is fantastic. So um, it's really fun. You can go into things like Marowak. You can... You can zoom into into a Golurk or something and absolutely start tearing holes through your opponent's team. So that's pretty fun. But overall, it's a bit limited in scope. I don't have the imagination I can put into other teams. And for that reason, I'm kind of part of maybe low B tier. Uh, grass is next. I very wildly on grass. I like uh, some grass Pokemon. I like to use some grass Pokemon. And I absolutely detest using others. Um... Hmm. It's kind of weird. I like Venusaur, like Breloom, Vileplume, really fun. Ferrothorn, I, I will admit, Ferrothorn is fun to use. I'm not going to lie about that. But it can be very frustrating because I feel like I lose a lot with Grass. But also, I started using a Swords Dance Weakness Policy Celebi. A friend sent me recently, and that's just been really, really funny on Grass. Um, it can absolutely catch people off guard. I'd probably give it a high C tier overall. Just because the fun Pokemon are really fun to use, even if it is a frustrating type at times. Next up, we have Ground. So, 
ground design wise is one of my personal favorites but unfortunately i think it kind of suffers from a similar fate to ghost in that i can't get imaginative enough for my liking like there's a lot of core staples on ground uh you have things like uh, lando obviously you have hippo for sand you have excadrill for abusing sand you have a water absorber in gastro uh quagsire or seismitoad personally i like gastrodon but that's not here nor there for that reason, there's a, there's a little lack of imagination, but it's a really fun type, even if a bit flowcharty at times. And I've proved in an old video that you don't need sand, like Donphan is is a cool substitute for that thing, or or Freeze Dry Mambo was one I used way back in like early Gen 8 when, when there was like no Pokemon available in the tier, so... I'll give it a high B tier. Yeah, I think high B tier is reasonable for ground. Next up we have Ice. Ice is a cool type. It's There's no point intended, I'm very sorry about that. It's it's difficult to play, but it's very rewarding when you play it. So if you get a good ice team, or your ice team starts like on a win streak or something, it just feels so good. It's like, yeah, I'm so good at ice, and this type is not very good. So uh, for that reason, I think I give it an A tier. Maybe like a low A tier. It is very offensive in nature, kind of like fighting. Though, despite that, you can kind of play a weird defensive ice with things like Avalog and Cloyster, even Reg Ice, who I'm a big fan of too. Um... So I do think you can get quite creative at ice. And for that reason, I, I think I'd give it an A tier. Normal is... Normal strange, because it's a type that I, I actually get kind of, um... I won't say frustrated, but maybe confused by when some people say, like, Oh, normal's boring, or normal's bad, because... Honestly, normal can do so much. There's so much normal can do. You can do, like, Z-Pori, um... Z-Conversion Porygon Z... You have uh, amazing walls in Chansey and, Por and uh, Porygon 2. We have Ditto, Smeargle, and that's just to name some of the quirkier things. We also have a plethora of cool birds to use. Now, I think the birds are more viable on normal than they are flying. Uh, what else do we have? Snorlax can be super fun. Megalopony is, is insane. I think normal is just a very good type, a normal, very fun type, and it has a surprising amount of depth to it. And for that reason, I think I'm going to give it high B tier because it it's kind of like a jack of all trades. But also, not really a master of none, it's kind of a master of everything at the same time. It, you can really focus your normal team to do anything, which I think is super cool. And I think it's a really unique and fun um, type to play. So next up we have Poison, and I'm not even going to beat around the bush. Poison's S tier. It's what got me into monotypes. It's my favorite type in the game, both design-wise and to play. I know I said earlier I don't really like playing um, balance, uh, but I think Poison's more hyper defensive, bordering stall at times, but it also has some cool offensive threats and it has it has the trickery I think I wish Dark had, like Infiltrator, Toxic Crobat, or Infiltrator Taunt, Superfan Crobat. It has Toxic Spikes, Regen Core. It it really makes you think. I think that's going to upset some people because some people really hate Poison. They claim it's very stally, and, and I can understand that. It's an annoying type to fight, but it's a very fun type to play. I actually do personally think it rewards very um not necessarily creative play but good smart play because if you make a mistake of poison your team can crumble apart and that's something i really like about poison so yeah it, it's a test here for sure um next up we have psychic hmm i think it would be somewhere here in the b tier i think my feature is looking pretty big though maybe i should maybe I'll, I'll go back and fix this it would be somewhere in the b tier i like psychic maybe like below ground above fighting again it, it's kind of a terrain heavy type but i think electric definitely really focus on its terrain psychic uh, and grass maybe kind of equally so like their terrain but electric really focus on terrain which i think is cool and for that reason uh i would put psychic here fun type to use it's fun to block priority it can be a bit difficult because sometimes even i forget like i i try shadow sneak or maybe sucker punch something and my terrain's up and i'm like oh yeah i I absolutely just, you know, played myself there. So, unfortunately, Psychic does require a lot of brain power to play, which makes sense, I suppose. Um, it's a type you can't really autopilot, I feel. And sometimes I just like to autopilot types, and I don't want to think about it too much. But overall, it's a very fun and probably would be roughly in my top half of types. Next up is Rock, and Rock is bottom of C tier. It's just a terrible, terrible type. I mean, it's unusably um amazing i'm joking of course rock is s tier i love rock so much um 
for anyone who knows my content, you're probably thinking like, why are you putting rock and D tier, rock and C tier? I'm putting rock and S tier. Uh, that's not just for outrage clicks or outrage engagement because um, I know a lot of people are going to be spamming silence rockmen. That's okay. It's become a kind of in joke in the community that I am. A, I'm a proud rockman. I'll say it. I, I like rock. It's um, I don't know why I like rock so much. It, it's it's a poor type, but I feel a weird spiritual connection to it. I just really enjoy playing it. Its playstyle is. It's kind of interesting because San does give you spadef boosts, which which gives you a lot to work with because then you have a lot of cool Pokemon like uh, T-Tar to abuse Sand. I think Nihiligo is super fun to use. I think it is an odd mix of, of a lot of things to do, uh, but the only thing I can't do is actually hit its opponents, which does kind of suck, but you know, it makes it all the more rewarding when you actually, when you do land a Stone Edge or something, which never happened. And you can go back and watch all my content and you'll, you'll see I've never once landed a Stone Edge because it's a terrible move. But next up we have Steel. Uh, I complain a lot about Steel. I'll be the first to say that Steel is a super annoying type um, to fight against. But that said, Steel is very fun. I will admit, Steel is fun. It has like all the, the balance of flying Steel provides, but it also provides like stupidly good offense and defense at the same time. Like I was saying about Psychic, I, I don't want to have to think too much. Steel's like the complete opposite. I can kind of click buttons a lot of the time and get really good results. It just has so many strong options. It's kind of like Dragon, but but in my opinion, a little bit cooler. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's the design and just how some of the Pokemon play I really like. So for that reason, Steel actually is, is relatively high. Probably kind of like mid to low B tier. Above Fire, below Fighting. I do apologize. Um, for putting steel this high because it is a nightmare of a type to fight, but I do enjoy playing it. I can't lie about that. And finally, of water. So I was discussed briefly earlier with fire uh, and the sun. Um, in my country, it rains a ton. I just like water. I really like swimming. I, I like going to the beach. I just like water thematically. But as well as that, it's usually my go-to uh, type or archetype to play in OU. If I ever play OU or any tier where rain's available, I'll probably just play rain because, again, autopilot, click, surf, uh, and do huge damage. It's really fun. It has the funny fish, Beresciuta. I just absolutely love that Pokemon. Probably one of my, if not my all-time favorite Pokemon to use is Beresciuta. It's just so ridiculously fast and hits so hard. It's just so fun. And rain's just a very cool archetype. And for that reason, I'd probably put it at the high A tier. Maybe S tier, but I don't think I, I like it quite as much as, as Poison and Rock. But as well as that, Water can also play like Hyper Stall, which isn't my go-to play style, but I have nothing against this. I did play Hyper Stall Water a few times before, and I regretted it after having to fight the team myself. So I, I played my Hyper, Hyper Stall Water, and then I met someone on ladder maybe like two weeks later, and they said in the chat, like, lol, I got this team off you, and uh, I was like, oh no. This isn't good because I just could not break the team. Like, it was such a, a hard team to break. The team I was using, I think it was Steel at the time, just literally could not break it. So I had to forfeit after like 60 turns. And uh, so, yeah, I don't like bringing that evil into the world of Stall Water, but I will admit it's very fun. So, yeah, that is my opinions. Let's see. Should I shift anything around a bit? Maybe. Do I like Ice or Bug more? I think I like Ice a little bit more than Bug. I mean, Bug's very fun, but I, I do think I like Ice a little bit more. Uh, this is fair. This seems like a, these two tiers seem okay to me right now. Maybe I could shift things around in B, but I think I like Ghost a bit more than Fire. Um, and actually a bit more than Steel. I kind of like Ghost. After looking at all the types, I, I do quite like Ghost. I want to like Fly more than I do. I'm going to put it here in, in, in B tier. Now I feel kind of bad for Dark Fairy and Dragon being C tier because these are three types that have like really cool design Pokemon, but there's just something about their playstyles that just don't connect with me. Actually, I think I put Dark above Grass. Because Grass is just too frustrating at times. So yeah, I think... As it currently stands, this is my final results for my favorite types to play and what order and, and why I like them. So yeah, that's going to be it. So if you did enjoy this kind of video, it's it's pretty chill. Um, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'd also love to hear your opinions on your favorite types. My types, you can tell me right there. You can go and say, Alex, you have terrible taste in types. That's okay. Feel free to say that down below. I'm not going to be offended. I would like to hear what your thoughts are. If Rock isn't S tier, though, I might be a little bit offended because Rock is is the perfect type, realistically speaking here. 
So yeah, uh, let me know down below what your thoughts are. And if you did enjoy this kind of content, especially definitely let me know because this is really easy to record. It doesn't take a huge amount of uh, prep or team testing or editing and stuff. So I'd be happy to do more kind of casual discussion videos. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who supported me this far in the channel. I, I When I started the channel, I didn't think I'd make it this far. We're at 382 subscribers at the time uh, right now. And it is Pokemon week as well. So I thought this is a pretty chill thing to do uh, so with that in mind when i reach 500 subscribers i would like to do a q a video so if there's any questions you want to ask me you can feel free to ask them here any other video um on my twitter on my discord just you know feel free to ping me a question and i will get around to it in the q a eventually I get around to that so the q a uh you can ask me anything about pokemon anything about me or anything about other kind of games i play and stuff so i'm gonna kind of split into three different categories so feel free to ask about those so with that, again, thank you so much for being here, for uh, watching this far. If you made it this far, I really appreciate that. It's fantastic uh, that you've been here. And of course, I hope to catch you next time, everyone. Uh, take care and have a great day.